uh, Craig and Spence did a open mic in uh, Dallas at Hyenas. Um, here it is. That's what you get this week. Bye. Anyway, let's give it up for our next comedian, Spence Griffin. Yeah. Thank you. How are you guys doing tonight? Right, right. right on, right on, Jean Valjean. I don't know it rhymes. Uh, what the fuck? It's science. I know, fuck science. Um, science is a bitch. Uh, oh yeah, well, I'm Spence. I just turned 36. Uh, which is cool, because now, no matter what state I'm in, I can fuck girls half my age. Um, yeah, it's going to be that kind of night. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. And that's like the, the, the right there is first. Let's get on it. You know you're old if you've ever paged your Coke dealer from a payphone. That is old. Yeah. You were talking about bookstores, Sarah. There's lights in my eyes. I can't know where she is. Sarah? Yeah. Uh, yes, Sarah. All right, Sarah, right over there. I jerked off to magazines I stole from a bookstore. That's, that's old. Uh, yeah. Like when I was a kid, yeah, female Viagra was called Boons and Cocaine. Um, speaking of, all right, so we, we got the female Viagra. That's cool, yeah? Oh, you like it. You're happy about it. But have y'all heard about the Plan B pill for guys? It, no, 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 it can't kill the baby, obviously. We can only do this. Uh, but it does change your blood type, which is awesome. Uh, it's a genetics joke. They're not, they're not that good. Um, yeah, the only reason I let girls, you know, spend the night is so I can crush a Plan B in their cereal. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I make omelets. I'm not a monster. Uh... <laughs> I've been in Texas for a couple days. What I've learned watching comedy here, don't make fun of God. Racism's okay, though. So let, let's talk about Donald Trump. Um, I, it's a little bit of both. I think no one loves him. Because if they did, they, someone would go up to him and say, stop saying stupid shit like, all Mexicans are rapists. They're way too lazy to be rapists. Um, rape, it takes a lot of work. Uh, not that I know, I fucking hire a Mexican for it. Um, I don't know, I got like scrawled on a piece of paper what I thought I'd do tonight. Here's some things about me. I hate people that get caught killing their kids. Yeah, I know, it's controversial. Uh, there's no reason for it, they're your own kids. Like, you should never get caught. Just do a little bad parenting, like, oh, all the cool kids run with scissors, or don't want to look both ways. <laughs> Spider-Man got his fucking powers from sticking a fork in an outlet. Just make sure you hold on tight. Uh, so we got Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, I don't really give a shit what you are, just tell me your pronoun that you want, and I'll call you that. What I don't understand is what happens on a transgender cruise when it goes down. Like, I get the kids get off first, but then who? <laughs> Sailor jokes? <laughs> I don't know, I'm an idiot. Y'all watch reality television? Yeah. Of course you do. My favorite reality show, because you watch it because you want to see people like sad and losing their all hope. So I love to catch a predator. It's the best. Like, nobody is having a shittier day than the contestants on To Catch a Predator. Uh, my, one of my favorite episodes, it had a guy, and his name online was Can I Anally Rape You? <laughs> Who, what fucked up person does that? It's May I Anally Rape You. <laughs> oh, I really love that show. Don't get me wrong, I don't matter. But if I did, I'd use my left hand because it'd feel more inexperienced. <laughs> Boom! All right, I gotta go. Thank you. One of the best 
things about having children is you get to relive a lot of shows that you watch as an adult. I mean, you don't watch as an adult. Like, as a grown man, I don't watch Willy Wonka or Goonies or any of that stuff. American Tale I But so when I had kids, it was cool to go rebuy all those movies and watch them. But if you rewatch them as an adult, they have a completely different feel to them. Like, we were watching Willy Wonka the other day, okay? And we're into it, and Willy's poor, and I'm like, see, that's what it could be like. You'd be poor like Charlie. You know, he can't buy anything, or makes fun of him, all that. And so even the teacher makes fun of him, it's so sad. And then he goes through, and he, you know, he works, his mom's working like three jobs, and singing a shitty song and all that, and all that, and then he gets his own ticket. And the boys are excited, I got two boys, and I'm excited, and he's going through, and he goes home, and I remember as a kid, being so happy when he showed everybody the golden ticket, but as an adult, it feels completely different, because he whoops it out, and who jumps out of bed? But Grandpa Joe has been an invalid for like 20 fucking years, and the whole family's been supporting him. The mom's working at a laundromat. God only knows what she does after that, being cabbage water and all this shit. She looks like she's 70 years old. She's probably 35 years old. Charlie's slinging newspapers. He gets a golden ticket, and Grandpa Joe is like Fred Astaire, mixed with Jimmy Miller, mixed with Michael Jackson, dancing on the whole fucking room, and tapping. And that bothered me, <laughs> because if my punk ass kid came home after I've been supporting everybody doing that shit and wanted to take grandpa that had been faking a fucking back injury for 20 years, there'd be some furniture moving around that room. <laughs> Definitely be some furniture moving around. And then I was like, why did he think about the candy man? The candy man was all about candy. Like, give the kid candy, singing songs, everybody's really happy in his shop. Like, he could have benefited from that trip to the Wonka factory. You know, or like maybe his fucking mom, or just even Slugworth for that. I mean, maybe <laughs> Slugworth. <laughs> like he's the last person you should pay. But there's a lot of them like that. Like I got two boys. I made them watch the Little Mermaid because I used to like the songs on it. You know, but check out the Little Mermaid. I'm gonna bring it up for you real quick. This girl wants to be a human, so the witch says she can do it, but she's got to get the prince to want to be with her. So she's like, "That's cool. You can't talk." And you can't sing, but you're still going to have a slamming body, so get him just to like your body over the next week and then you can have your voice back. <laughs> like, that's pretty fucked up when you really think about it for little girls out there. It's like, just don't talk, get him to want to fuck you, and then you got it. So that's it. Just yes. work out, be straight, keep your mouth shut until they lay it and they're done. So, I thought that was kind of crazy. <laughs> But it's still a good show. <laughs> but, uh, and then I was watching a show about Nazi Germany. But, uh, that's really all I got tonight. Boo, tell us about fire. Okay, so I'm playing with fire this one time. <laughs> 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 I got very fired from a job right down the street over here the other day. And one of them, it was two owners, and uh, one of them was straight, and one of them was homosexual. And uh, I have nothing against homosexual people at all, but he was just such a dick. And I got, I went in there, and I blew, uh, I went in there, and it was two brothers, and the straight brother goes, you blew it. And I said, the only person in this room that's blown anything is your brother. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never got my last uh, Y'all have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>